Well, what can you tell us about this tape? Do you recognise it? Hmm. Yes, of course. You are aware of the need for client confidentiality with our organisation. Client confidentiality? What about the life of my friend? And what about the lives of the people in my organisation? Yes, well, I can empathise with how you feel. I can at least tell you that this tape was doctored by IMA. On whose orders? I can't tell you that because I don't know. The usual fee was paid, but it was all done by a series of telephone conversations. I didn't actually see anyone face to face. Well, I would certainly like to know who was behind it all, and their reasons behind it as well. Yes, yeah, so would I, but it doesn't really matter. He's right. As long as we have a testimony that the tape is a forgery, that's all we need to help Stephen. You realise that if I testify, I put our entire organisation out in the open. Well, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's a rather glib comment to make about the lives of dozens of people who want a Marxist revolution. I don't want a revolution. I want my friend back. Please testify in court. Very well. But when I appear, I'll be heavily disguised. Well, I'm not sure if that'll be allowed. It may render your evidence inadmissible. Well, that's the only way I'll testify. We accept. Because of the nature of my organisation, that's all I can do. Well, uh, take care of yourself and we'll see you in court tomorrow morning. I'll be there. Don't worry. Steve, we're back. God, what happened? You look awful. Everything seems so hopeless. What am I going to do? The man who's murdered his own brother. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We found somebody who will testify that the tape is a forgery. I can't believe it. It's true, Steve. You're an innocent man. The tape was doctored. I'm, st I'm staggered. I can't take all of this in. There is light at the end of the tunnel, Steve. Your days in this cell are numbered. I hope you're right. Although I won't believe it till I'm actually free. Things have changed, Stephen. No one on Rubart is free any longer. I fear that you are right. Who are you? What do you want? I am the Death. I have come for curricula. What do you call yourself? Oh, I come under many guises. But I have urgent business. Don't obstruct me. Out of my way. Have you been sent for by curricula? No, I have been sent by a nihilist assault group. You failed to give me any satisfactory answers. Now you'll leave. You are curricula. I am. And I do not tolerate arrogant men for long. I promise you. Oh, you won't be disappointed. I have come for the doctored tape. What do you know about that? More than I shall tell you. Access to that information is highly sensitive and restricted. I want to know how you came into possession of that information. Never mind. I want that tape. Well, I'm sorry. That tape is needed in court to protect an innocent man. <laughs> innocent. Innocence is a state of mind and depends on your perspective in the universe. Well, my perspective has lived through the visage of the politically and morally oppressed. Oh, how very self-righteous of you. I suppose you're willing to testify in court, despite the grave risk to your organisation. Yes, I always act for altruistic reasons. Well, I don't, which is bad for you. The dead cannot tell lies. Or the truth. with the trial of Stephen Brown. I understand you wish to call a new witness. Yes, Your Honour. Well, it's a little unorthodox to call a witness without giving the court time to prepare. However, I will allow your witness to proceed with their testimony. Objection. This gives me no time to prepare. Well, I'm sorry. You'll just have to bear with me. I must make allowances when a witness decides to testify at the last moment. Even if it leaves me at a disadvantage, Your Honour. Instead of haranguing me, wouldn't your time be better spent on your approach to questioning the witness, which you'll be doing after Defence Counsel? So I suggest you get moving. This waiting is intolerable. 
I will give your witness ten minutes to appear in my courtroom. Stop, stop, Your Honor. Oh, I grow in weary of these interruptions. What's happened now? What? I don't believe it. This is shocking news. Ha! Failed again, Brown. As usual, your feeble attempts to prove your innocence have come to nothing. Silence. Unless you know what has happened to the witness, I suggest you hold your tongue. But what has happened? I'm sorry to say, your witness has been found murdered. No, that's, that's ridiculous. This, this can't be. I, I need the evidence. Evidence on the tape. Don't, don't tell me she has disappeared. If the tape ever even existed. Your memory and reason seem to be failing, Brown. The facts are getting confused. Be quiet. The tapes in our office have been scanned. I've been handed this one that pertains to the case. Rubbish! May I examine the tape, Your Honour? Of course. The idiots! This isn't a different case to the one we watched. What is supposed to be on this? How would I know? I've only just received it. It concerns the case, so be quiet and allow me to show it to the courtroom. An innocent man would not be so careless as to lose this supposed tape. How convenient that a vital piece of evidence has gone missing. He has murdered a member of his own family and cannot face up to the terrible consequences of his guilt. Are you on the stand at this moment in time? No. Quiet. Then these ramblings will struck from the record and disregarded. Well, let us see this worthless tape then. I beg you, Your Honour, there must be someone to produce that tape. Just give me 48 hours and I will retrieve it. I feel pity for you, Stephen Brown. I believe you when you said that the tape exists. However, do not be hasty in your judgment of the People's Court of Rubart. I will play this tape and we see what it contains. Very well. What is the point? Indeed, there is no point if you are a guilty man. I'm not concerned with notions of innocence or guilt. Merely the truth. Well, I believe that we can now conclude this case. I shall begin my summing up. This tape is a forgery. I have done nothing. Well, well, well. A familiar story. Death. You will be formally charged with the murder of Karukla, the individual on the videotape, and remanded in custody until a date for your trial is set. Well, where does that leave me, Your Honour? Guilty. Silence. I'm not concerned with your opinion of the defendant. I'm concerned with only one thing, the law. Death, your involvement clearly undermines this case. I can only speculate why Karukla was killed and the nature of the evidence she had in her possession. You are making too many assumptions. I have little choice, as any possible conviction against the defendant would now be unsafe and unsatisfactory. Therefore, the trial is abandoned, and you, Stephen Brown, are free to go. Release the defendant with immediate effect. At last! My nightmare is over. I am your worst nightmare, Stephen Brown. And it is not over. But be warned, I will be back. I shall have my vengeance.